Hi, it's Charlie, and I'm back with a very great surprise for my friend Joe Barnard at BPS Space. Joe has been working on this incredible, incredible project for the last two years, and I actually I ran into him at a cafe in here in Boston, and uh, he's just been doing the coolest work. And I come home and I get this in the mail, and it was a big surprise. So thank you to Joe first off. I had no expectation of receiving this. This was flabbergasting to me. Um, and Joe has been working on a rocket stability system that helps a rocket fly straight. And so in this box is a rocket altimeter that also controls servos to gimbal a motor in ordering the rocket to fly straight. So a normal model rocket has big fins at the back of the rocket to aerodynamically stabilize the rocket. But this, this right here represents a different way of stabilizing the rocket. And this is just absolutely incredible and we're gonna see here what Joe has put together for us this is kind of an unboxing video so I'm gonna open up his specially labeled packaging and uh, congratulations let's see let's see what it says very happily logoed paper you own the first thrust vectoring kit for model rockets signal alpha you no longer need fins your rockets will look and fly like the real thing now so there's a uh, there's a very helpful link to a to a website uh, that uh, gives instructions for how to build this, and a uh, very heartfelt thank you. But I'd like to turn that around straight to you, Joe. Thank you so much. This is this is incredible. I cannot wait to see what I can do with this. So without further ado, let's let's set that aside and continue opening this box. If we pull out the brown paper. Brown paper very useful. We'll use that to cover. My work surface as I as I build the rest of this, uh, there are some very helpful uh, printed out guides for how to cut the vehicle, uh, marked up, logoed up for the different types of airframe you can use. Set those aside as well. Stickers because you absolutely have to be able to sticker your rocket. This one will probably go on my la maybe I'll go on my launch box maybe also my laptop we'll see. Um, here is the thrust mount. Here is the... Ooh, what is this? This looks like parts for the internal workings of the gimbal. Here's some uh, bags of hardware, all nicely organized by tools you need. I, I really appreciate the tools. That is critical. Here are the airframe mounts so that you can put them in the size airframe you own business card because uh, Joe is the man in charge now running BPS space. It's uh, eco-friendly packaging which I really appreciate. If we're going to go to the stars we might as well do it in a sustainable fashion. And of course the good stuff the uh, BPS space signal alpha altimeter in this very nice ESD safe bag so let's uh, pop this open and give it a look-see. Wow! Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? So Joe, I'm going to give this thing a build, and I'm going to make videos the whole time I do it, so you can see how one of these things works in the wild. And I think this, this is a very nifty looking 29mm motor mount. I might see if we can't put a G motor in this, maybe even an H. But uh, without further ado, I have to get building.